Hey, it's Will here from Your Career Mastery, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to get a job in digital marketing and how to start your career as a digital marketer. But a little bit about me first. So uh, when I first started my career, which was about eight plus years ago, I've always worked in digital marketing. I started working as a digital copywriter and content manager. Um, I've worked agency side and client side, which is to say I've worked in agencies that create content and digital marketing for clients. But I've also been one of those clients working within a company, um, working with brands, trying to you know, grow their digital marketing strategy. Um, and I currently work for a large multinational company. It's what's called a FMCG company, which stands for Fast Moving Consumer Goods. Um, they're a large uh, international company, but I work here in Melbourne, Australia, in the marketing team, looking after content and search optimization. But that aside, this video is about you and how do you start your career. So essentially, if you're finishing uni, you're a grad um, or you're looking to pivot careers and you're thinking, how do I get into digital marketing? It can be quite daunting because it actually digital marketing is a huge field from content to search optimization to running paid campaigns, brand campaigns, building websites, um, all the way through to um, analytics and data. You think, where do you start? Well, firstly, you're gonna look at, you know, what are your strengths and what are your interests in this area? Because like I said, digital marketing is a massive, massive field. Um, you really wanna start with, well, what are you interested in for the first part when it comes to digital marketing? Are you interested in running paid campaigns? Are you interested in the brand side of things? Are you interested in building websites? You know, yeah, is one of your skills or strengths to do with um, analytics or, you know, maths and spreadsheets and all that good stuff? Or are you more creative? Um, or are you good at writing? You know, could you be a content writer or a blogger? Um, or you're interested in video and YouTube and running campaigns across more video-based channels. So that's where you start. What are your strengths in terms of what are you bringing to the field of digital marketing? Uh, but also what are you interested in? And so sort of where can you find in terms of where these strengths that you've got and where your interests can align? I'm gonna do a subsequent video that breaks up, you know, all the different areas of digital marketing from you know, analytics to brand, to campaigns, to websites, to running optimization campaigns or, or running test and learns to try and improve conversion rates. Uh, but there's also email marketing. You know, it's such a huge field. I'm gonna do a subsequent video. I'll put the link in the description below to look at what is the lay of the land for digital marketing. And it might help you try and find um, what's your niche or, or what kind of area you'd like to learn um, a bit more about and explore and start to upskill in. But either way, number one, what are your strengths and what are your interests? And that should guide you to your next, I guess, um, you, know, you know, give you a bit of targeted focus in terms of where you want to begin your career as a digital marketer. But then you can also ask yourself, do you want to work in an agency or do you want to work client side? So when I say agency, I mean a digital marketing agency. So this is where a small business or even large businesses, to be quite frank, might come to an agency and say, we would like you to run our digital marketing. We don't know what we're doing. You guys are an agency, you've got the skills and the resources to help us run a digital marketing campaign, whether that is you know, running content or running Facebook ads, running TikTok ads, um, helping us create you know, advertisements for radio or for TV. A small business or a big business might come to an agency that either is an all-rounder in terms of digital marketing or they might specialize in a certain area of digital marketing and say, we're a client, Please come, we're gonna to come to you, please build this for us and we'll pay you a monthly retainer or might be on a project basis as well. Or you might wanna work client side. This is where you actually work inside a company, like a brand, whether it's, if you're in America, you might work in a, you know, for Walmart or for uh, Procter & Gamble. Uh, I mean, these are just big companies, but there's obviously millions that you could work for. But essentially, you're the client. So you might work client side for a company like Walmart, and you're looking to get a campaign off the ground for Easter or for Christmas or whatever it is. You might put a brief into an agency, but you, as a, as a person working client side, you will be in charge of briefing in the agency, making sure their work is up to par, and then taking their work and actually implementing it and signing off on it in the client um, side of things. But if you might work client side, you might not actually work with an agency at all. For example, you might be hired as a blogger for a large company to work for, say, Colgate. You know, making, writing, writing articles on toothpaste and things like that. And you might not work with an agency at all. 
you might work just exclusively within this brand and write content for this brand only. One is not better than the other, they're both just different. So if you work in an agency, you know, you might start off as a grad, sort of bottom tier as a, as a account specialist. So you might work with people within the agency who are specialists in all the different areas of digital marketing um, and you get to learn and you get to network. So agencies are typically, you know, younger people work in agencies when they come fresh out of university. You're not paid great as you start. Obviously, you're not gonna get paid great money where you start anywhere. Um, but you, you'll meet a lot of people and you'll be a really fun, dynamic environment. Your know, agencies tend to be really fun when you're younger you know, working in a great, you know, there tend to be a lot of parties and stuff like that, um, but you will learn a lot, but it will be very hard work. You're very much at the behest of the client to deliver great quality work, uh, but it can be quite intense, but a great learning experience. You'll learn a ton about digital marketing, and you'll also build up your network. Client side, don't get me wrong, client side can just be as stressful and hectic, but, and it can also be just as fun, um, but client side is different, you know. Agencies tend to be on the cutting edge when it comes to digital marketing. And that's why when you work client side, you tend to work more closely with agencies to brief in work and sort of give them feedback on their work, but they're sort of doing the grunt of it. You're mainly managing the briefs, but also you're accountable for the results of that campaign within your company. Um, so they're both they're both great, um, they're, just, they're just different. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to get started in digital marketing, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at applying for work at agencies or you'll be working client side. Again, it shouldn't really affect where you begin your digital marketing journey. It's just something to be aware of and the differences between the two companies or the two different types of companies as you're getting started. Then we have internships and grad programs. So internships, I love. More easy to get, there tends to be more of them. And you can actually just go up to a small business if you're a grad, you've finished university, what have you, you're looking for work or you're looking to get experience to build out your resume. Um, internships are great. You know, you can work a day or two a week at a small business and just come up to them and say, hey, look, I'll run your digital marketing for you free of charge. I'll work one or, you know, one or two days a week or half days, whatever suits you. You're doing it for free after all. Um, and, and get some on the tools experience that you can use to build up a resume. I think internships are fantastic. I did an internship when I was younger. Um, it was with kind of a weird lady who like published children's books. It was quite weird. You're working for a small business. It's, sometimes it's weird. <laughs> um, uh, but either way, I got good experience in terms of digital marketing and running websites and all that sort of stuff. Um, grad programs on the other hand, they tend to be harder to get. So they tend to be far more competitive uh, in many cases, they're paid as well. Um, and it tends to only be large corporations that run them or, or quite larger businesses. So here in Australia, the multinational company that I work for, they run grad programs, but they're quite competitive and you have to sit tests, I believe, to get them. And they're only open every few years. But I mean, if you live in the States or the UK or what have you, there are a lot of big companies, so maybe a bigger chance of being able to get into one of these grad programs. Again, one is not better than the other necessarily. If you get into a grad program, great. If you get into internship, great. It's more just to know what's out there and have all of these options at your disposal. Free courses. Now, I would go as far as to say that of all the different industries and fields out there, there is none more saturated with free content across the entire web than digital marketing. If you wanna work in digital marketing or learn a skill, I mean, even just on YouTube, the amount of free courses, tutorials, videos, webinars, workshops to help you upskill, even in very niche areas, is incredible. There is so much resource out there. So if you said, I wanna become an expert in Facebook ads and, and understand the basics, just by consuming free content online, you could become a, uh, an expert or pretty close to an expert in running Facebook ads within like a year or, or two years. Like, it's actually crazy. So between free material online on places like YouTube, there's also a ton of highly credible, um, you know, institutions that offer free courses too. So Google, for example, one of the biggest ad platforms in the world, they offer a ton of free training for Google AdWords, YouTube, um, you know, paid search, uh, display advertising, all that sort of stuff. Free courses. Again, if you want to upskill in a certain area, once you know what your strengths and interests are, 
you write, cool, I wanna work agency side, and I'm pretty sure, you know, I wanna work in running Facebook ads or YouTube or search engine optimization, whatever it is, oh man, you can go ham on learning so much free stuff out there. Like, it's actually staggering how much free content is out there and what people still charge or what large institutions still charge for a tertiary qualification in digital marketing. You don't really need it, I don't think. Like, still get your tertiary education, go for it. But there's a ton of other supplementary resources that you can be using to get real on the tools, I'm not talking theoretical, I'm talking on the tools experience that you, you can use to beef up your resume. And if you're a grad, this stuff is fantastic. It's gonna help you expedite your career and get into a paying job like so much faster than if you just relied on the experience of your tertiary course alone. So free courses, incredible. But I think the next best thing in terms of, sweet, you know what you wanna do, um, you're doing an internship, you're applying it, great, you're getting experience for your resume, maybe you're applying for agency and client side jobs. While you do this, you're learning stuff from free courses, you've got a niche that you're going after, and you're really upskilling and learning with very targeted focus. Building a project. This is fantastic. This is what got me out of working in my warehouse of doom job years ago and landed me my first job. Because actually, side note, personal story, um, I did a degree in, uh, what was it, arts, media, and communications. Great degree, loved it. Um, but when I was got my degree, I actually found it very difficult to get a job because um, I didn't actually have skills and experience. It's one of those things, you know, it's like you need a job sometimes to build skills and experiences, but no one will give you a job because you don't have any. It's like one of those, it's like a catch-22 sort of thing. But the great thing is you don't need to wait for getting a job to start getting skills and experiences, you can go and apply some of these strategies and tips and start building those skills in advance of getting a job. It'll help you get a job so much faster. But, um, yeah, so I was working the warehouse job. I actually said, God, no one's gonna give me skills and experiences. I'm gonna have to go out there and get them myself. So I built a project. I built a website on a platform called Wix. It was like an online magazine called Grouch doesn't exist anymore, but it was a quarterly publisher of short stories and poems. Um, I got submissions across the web from people, just like a free, just free submissions, I didn't pay anyone. Um, and I built a project, I built a website, and it had you know some blog articles and things like that, because I knew I wanted to get a job as a blogger or as a content writer. So I, you know, in advance of getting a job, I said I built my own portfolio of work. So when I went for the job interview, I had something to show. I didn't say, oh, you know, I've just got this university degree and since then I've kind of just worked in this warehouse and done nothing. I said, no, I've worked in this warehouse. Firstly, I worked on the website of the company that owned the warehouse that I worked at, and that was part of my internship. But then I built this other project called Grouch, which was this online magazine that allowed me to apply my strengths. It allowed me to build on the knowledge and apply the knowledge that I learned in these free courses that I was learning about blogging and search engine optimization and copywriting and all this good stuff. So, how do you get a job in digital marketing? Find out what you wanna do, find what you're interested in. There's so much out there in digital marketing, it's a huge field. You don't have to do something you don't like, find what appeals to you and then apply it, uh, apply yourself to it, but also make sure that it, what you're interested in also aligns to your skills, because especially when it, when it comes to getting that first job, uh, leveraging skills you're already good at, it's just gonna give you an extra advantage. So determine if you wanna work agency side, client side, I mean, it really shouldn't matter in terms of the jobs that you apply for. Again, it's just something to be aware of. There are positive and negatives to both. I've worked in both. I find the client side, I prefer client side because I like learning about other departments within the business. So, you know, if you work agency side, you're gonna learn a ton about digital marketing, but you might not learn so much about other business aspects, whereas client side, you know, I'm learning about legal and compliance and finance and product management and research and development and supply and logistics, as well as digital marketing. So that's why I prefer client side, but you might prefer to work agency side, and that's totally great. Um, you know, start looking for internships and grad programs. So internships, you know, such low hanging fruit there. Find a small business in your community. Say, I'm gonna run your social media for you for one day a week. Start getting some free experience because social media is a great introduction to all of digital marketing. It's content, 
It's copywriting. It's having ideas for campaigns. It's posting on a social media platform. You can even, uh, you know, once you post organic social content, you can even ask if they want to put paid media investment to boost certain posts to give you experience with um, running paid campaigns as well. Free courses, I mean, that's just, you know, there's no excuse for not getting skills and experience in digital marketing because all of the resources are absolutely out there at your disposal. There's never been a better time to get a job as a digital marketer. And the more you do this and invest in yourself and invest in your skills and your experience and your knowledge of digital marketing, the more cash you're gonna make. It's literally like a, a um, I don't know what you call it, like an exponential relationship. The more knowledge you build through these courses and build on your strengths, the more cash you're gonna make and the more employable you're going to be. But while you're learning all these great things and, and applying your knowledge in internships, you can also apply it in, a, in a building your own project. And if you're having trouble getting an internship or a grad program or even finding a job agency or client side, you can just build a project. None of this is dependent on the others in the sense that you can build a project independent of having a job or um, working in an internship. Do your own internship. What is that, a Seth Godin call it? You know, do your own real world MBA. Go out there and get your own experience. Be a go-getter, because that shows that you're proactive, it shows you're accountable, it shows that you're driven, and these are great qualities that companies look for, especially in young candidates who are hungry to get out there and prove themselves. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please, um, or if you've got any questions, shoot it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you found it very helpful and uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos just like this. Um, I'm Will from Your Career Mastery and I hope you have a great day.